Did you recently buy your first DJI Ronin product and are confused about how to install the app on your Android phone? Or are you a person who has used the DJI Ronin previously but now your app keeps on crashing? If you answered yes to either of those questions, this video is for you. In this video, I will present two different installation methods for the Ronin app on an Android phone. If prior to watching this video, you've already previously downloaded the DJI Ronin app, you need to go to their website and check if a newer version is available. And when you go to the website, it might indicate a specific version. On this screen, it's indicating 1.5.0, but this is not always accurate information. DJI often fails to update what's indicated on the web page. So if you actually select a download for Android, the version that will be downloaded is actually 1.5.2. So don't count on the website to be accurate. Just go ahead and click the download link and get the most current version of the app available. This video will cover two different installation methods. Installation method number one is for people who are doing a brand new installation, you've never had the app installed before, or for people who are just updating the current app, you're not having any issue, you just wish to put a newer version of the Ronin app onto your Android device. The first thing we need to do is go into our phone settings and do a search for install unknown apps. So type unknown, and then select install unknown apps. Then select install unknown apps again. Find the web browser that you're using to download the APK and enable it to install unknown apps. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. Go to the DJI Ronin download page. Don't count on the information being accurate. Select download Android APK to ensure you get the latest version available. Here we can see the actual version is 1.5.2, even though the prior screen misinformed us and told us the version was 1.5.0, which is an older version. So you wanna go ahead and download the file, and once it's downloaded, select open, then select update. And then select open. If this is a new installation, you'll need to agree to the terms of use. And then also agree to the privacy notice. And then answer this question about the improvement project and allow permissions to access media and files on your phone. Next, select the three dashes to get into the menu, select firmware. And here you can see the newly installed version is 1.5.2. Next, we want to go back into settings and once again, search for install unknown apps. So here I'm typing the word unknown and then selecting install unknown apps and then select install unknown apps again and uncheck the box next to Google Chrome or whatever web browser you used to install the app. If after installation method one, the DJI Ronin app constantly crashes rather than opens, then go ahead and follow the installation instructions in install method number two. In installation method number two, we're doing a clean install via the removal of the prior DJI Ronin installation. This is for anyone who already had the app on their phone and it stopped functioning, and then you update with a newer app and it still does not function correctly. For example, it crashes upon every time you try to open it. Then you'll want to do this clean installation method number two. So for installation method number two, we need to go into settings and then do a search for apps. So here I'm typing APP and then we need to select apps. Once in apps, scroll down to Ronin. and then select Ronin, and then scroll down and select Storage, and then select Clear Data or Data, and then select OK. Next, select Uninstall, and then select OK to uninstall the app. And then once the app is uninstalled, go ahead and restart your device. So after the device powers back on, we need to go into settings and do a search for install unknown apps. So go ahead and type unknown to do a search 
and then select Install Unknown Apps. Then select Install Unknown Apps again. Find the web browser that you're using to download the APK and enable it to install unknown apps. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. Go to the DJI Ronin download page. Don't count on the information being accurate. Select Download Android APK to ensure you get the latest version available. Here we can see the actual version is 1.5.2, even though the prior screen misinformed us and told us the version was 1.5.0, which is an older version. So you want to go ahead and download the file, and once it's downloaded, select Open. Then select Update. and then select open. Since this is a new DJI Ronin installation, we need to agree to the terms of use, and then also agree to the privacy notice, and then answer this question about the improvement project, and allow permissions to access media and files on your phone. Next, select the three dashes to get into the menu. Select firmware. And here you can see the newly installed version is 1.5.2. Next, we want to go back into settings and once again, search for install unknown apps. So here I'm typing the word unknown and then selecting install unknown apps and then select install unknown apps again and uncheck the box next to Google Chrome or whatever web browser you used to install the app. If after following these instructions in method 1 and method 2, the DJI Ronin app is constantly crashing on your Android phone or tablet, that means there's a compatibility issue with the current version of the app and the version of Android running on your phone or tablet. So if that happens to you, you'll need to check back to the DJI website regularly and see if there's a newer version of the Ronin app that's available. Make sure not to look at the version indicated on the web page. Actually select download and find out what version is indicated in the download. And once you see a newer version available, go ahead and download and install that. And that may resolve the issue on your specific phone or tablet. In the meantime, you'll need to borrow someone else's phone or tablet, uh, either Android or iPhone or iPad and use that with your DJI Ronin app until the new fly version becomes available. If you found this video helpful or informative, please give it a thumbs up. If you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, I really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so.